my first question I think could be addressed by uh, Mr. Karori. Uh, in the morning you did uh, really argue quite strongly that when it comes to verification, uh, tallying and declaration of uh, the result, the presidential election result, that really, uh, if you look at the law in your interpretation of the uh, Article 138 and the jurisprudence that uh, you say emanates from this court, you seem to be arguing that that is uh, that is strictly within the purview of the chair's mandate. And that really these other commissioners, uh, let's say the, the remaining, the, the six commissioners, really ought not to be around that, because that's a role preserved for the chair. And but then you said, uh, according to the statute that establishes this commission, the enabling statute, the roles and functions of the commission, qua commission, are stated. Uh, for one of them is oversight. What is oversight? If, in fact, the commissioners, I, I would have thought that one of the most important oversight roles in the commissioner's life would be when they are overseeing the verification and tally of the presidential election result at the center before the same is then declared on behalf and for and but for the people of Kenya by the chair. So what is oversight? Uh, I ask this because we were informed yesterday and I think you are here uh, that instead of perhaps uh, playing this role. Some of them uh, were located welfare scenarios, protocol, and media. But what is oversight? What would they be oversighting over? That's the, the, that's the question. In, in other words, when, at what point in this corporate entity scenario does the chair then disengage from the other commissioners, be they two or be they five or six? When do you say this is chair qua chair and this is chair as part of the commission? Because, because we need to understand that. We, we've been asked to provide clarity. Uh, then uh, let's go to Matt. Uh, Mahat, there is this story about this Venezuelan, and one of the issues is whether the technology system employed or deployed was penetrated. And you did tell us, uh, again, quite robustly, that there was no such penetration uh, or infiltration or intrusion, whichever. But you did uh, also concede that this Venezuelan, whatever his name is, had access to the server. Uh, but your answer was that the contract between the IEBC and uh, Smart, Smartmatic was to supply and maintenance. So if I understood you correctly, this Venezuelan was accessing the server uh, as part of the maintenance. So what, what, what is this maintenance? What does it entail? What was he doing there? Say uh, he was released and locked out just before the election. So what was he maintaining in that system? Maybe you just want to tell us what maintenance entails as part of that contract agreement. Then back to the question of uh, percentages again uh, in terms of the turnout. I think I asked this question, I asked uh, Mr. Orengo, but now that you may not have another, you may also want to address it. In the arguments that have been uh, presented before us, uh, Mr. Chebukati, the chair, first mentioned a 65.4% turnout. 
And then he did indicate that that was bound to change as res results kept streaming in, especially if you took into consideration the number of uh, those who had voted manually and the numbers that had yet to come in from the elders. Now, it is the petitioner's argument that uh, if there was to be any change at all, then that percentage would have to increase rather than decrease. So I don't know. Uh, uh, and how relevant, again, is this turnout to the determination of whether a candidate gathered 50% plus one vote? And then, you see, we have been asked by uh, uh, Mr. Ngatia, uh, we, we, so who do you believe among these two uh, protagonists? Who do you believe? This question has been put to, to us, and uh, believe you me, we'll have to deal with it. Who do we believe? Uh, now, the question of uh, the National Security Advisory Council. This, uh, I think, Mr. Oraro, this could be of interest to you. On the one hand, you are telling us that uh, these personnel uh, visited the uh, premises at the Bomas to express their concern. Because, of course, being uh, an advisory council, they must have uh, arrived at a conclusion that unless the results were released, uh, then there was bound to be chaos. But on the other hand, uh, the chair in his affidavit tells the court that the only reason uh, uh, the AG, or I mean not the AG, but uh, the individuals, distinguished people uh, for whom we have a lot of respect, paid that visit was to tell the chair to somehow re-engineer the results in favor of one of the candidates. Now, this is not a question to you, but a question to uh, uh, Mr. Chepkati's uh, uh, counsel. Uh, professor, you may want to, uh, to, to, to or even Mr. Karori, are we to assume that by the time uh, Mr. Kinyo placed this call, if the intention was to influence uh, the declaration of the results, uh, to change it, to re-engineer it, are we to assume that by the time that call was placed, and by the time this gentleman paid this visit, they already knew the results, because there's no way they would have been on that mission if they had not known the results. So are we to assume that if, the, in fact, if this be their mission, are we to assume that they already knew the results? Okay. Then finally, uh, Mr. Kilokumi, you know, you cited King Solomon. Uh, and this court treats Holy Scriptures very seriously. Uh, you came up with, uh, you say there is victory. Because in King Solomon's story, the protagonists were distinguished mothers. But here, you called them two gentlemen. But I also remember uh, that one of the mothers who turned out, or the mother claimants, who according to Solomonic wisdom, could not have been the mother, is the one who was saying, cut the baby. But the other one, I remember, said, no, let her take, let her take the baby. Because what she was interested in is to preserve the baby. Would you be willing to advise? <laughs> <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> uh, uh, thank you, Honorable CJ and President of the Court. I just have one inquiry, one question.